Now your host, Pedro Bichieri. Hello again. Uh, thank you, and uh, thanks for joining us for the 2011 KYVE Apple Bowl. I'm your host, Pedro Bichieri, and today we have a, a second-round matchup between Sunnyside Christian and LaSalle. And let's meet today's players. I'm Annalisa Van Ostrom. I'm a senior, and this is my second year on Apple Bowl. I'm Janelle DeGro. I'm also a senior, and this is my second year at Apple Bowl. I'm Drew Peterball, and I'm a sophomore, and this is my first year at Apple Bowl. My name is Libby Young. I'm a senior at LaSalle High School, and this is my third year on Apple Bowl. My name is Jacob O'Connor. I'm a junior at LaSalle High School, and this is my third year on the Apple Bowl. I'm Mike McCarthy. I'm also a junior at LaSalle High School, and this is also my third year at the Apple Bowl. All right, well, welcome everyone. Get your fingers on the buzzer. We'll get started with the toss-up round uh, category for the first question, afflictions. Dermatitis means the inflammation of what? Jacob LaSalle. The skin. Correct. Evidence. Statements made or evidence produced by a suspect which, which helps to prove that he is himself guilty of some crime is called self what? Michael LaSalle. Incrimination. That is correct. Ballads. A sentence or phrase in folk ballads, which is repeated at intervals at the end of stanzas, is called a what? Annalisa, Sunshine Christian. A bridge. I'm sorry, that's not the correct answer. LaSalle, would you like to try? Yes, Jacob. A chorus. Sorry, refrain was the word they were looking for. Spacecraft. The first man-made object to leave our solar system was what? Libby LaSalle. Sputnik. Sorry, not Sputnik. Uh, Sunshine Christian, would you like to try? Pioneer 10. Okay. Pioneer 10. Meridians. A meridian is a great circle that passes through both poles and forms what kind of angle with the equator? Michael LaSalle. A right angle. That is correct. Banking. The headquarters of the Federal Reserve System is in what city? Uh, Michael LaSalle. New York City. Uh, not correct. Sunnyside Christian, would you like to try? Yes, Annalisa. Washington, D.C. That is a correct answer. Nicely done. Inventor Homelands. What was the nationality of the inventors of the spinning frame, the miner's safety lamp, the spinning jenny, the analytical engine, the power loom, and the pneumatic rubber tire? Yes, Janelle, Senator Christian. France. I'm sorry, that is not correct. LaSalle, would you like to try? Jacob. Germany. Sorry, Great Britain. Great Britain's correct answer. The Earth. A change in the polarity of Earth's magnetic field is called a magnetic what? Yes, Libby LaSalle. A uh, shift? Uh, not correct. With Sunnyside Christian, you can answer if you like. <coughs> reversal. A magnetic reversal. Perspectives. This excerpt from Somerset Mom's Louise is written from what point of view? I could never understand why Louise bothered with me. She disliked me, and I knew that, I knew that behind my back she seldom lost the opportunity of saying a disagreeable thing about me. Annalisa, Sunset Christian. Omniscient. I'm sorry, that is not correct, LaSalle. Libby. First person. First person is the correct answer. Heavenly objects. Name the celestial objects that emit radio signals in brief, intense pulses. Yes, Jacob. Was it pulsar? Pulsar is correct. Clauses. What word is modified by the adjective clause in this example? The pyromaniac was a close associate of the rapscallion who dropped the watermelon from the Cessna. Yes, Libby. Associate? Sorry, not correct. Sunnyside Christian, you could try? Yes, Annalisa. Rapscallion? That's correct. Nicely done. Wrenches. Your car is parked on the side of the road with a flat tire. To loosen the nuts on that wheel, you should use what kind of wrench? Yes, Drew, Sunnyside Christian. Star wrench? Uh, you said star wrench? I'm sorry, it's not correct, LaSalle. Yes, Michael. Uh, tire jack? I'm sorry, a lug wrench is the correct answer. Park biomes. What type of biome is most typical throughout Canada's Jasper National Park? Yes, Annalisa. Jasper. I'm sorry, not correct, LaSalle, Michael? Tundra. Sorry, taiga is the correct answer. Mollusks. These mollusks are related to snails, but lack shells. Yes, Michael LaSalle. Slugs? Slugs is correct. Two pairs of antennae project from their heads. Their soft bodies may be from one to eight inches in length. 11th century watercraft. In their raids, 
from the British Isles to North Africa, the Vikings used fleets of what lengthy narrow vessels? Yes, Jacob. What is a longboat? Longboat or longship is a correct answer. Vocal music. Religious folk songs associated with American slaves are called. Yes, Janelle, Sunshine like Christian. Um. I'm sorry, Alyssa. The term is spirituals. Spirituals. Homelands. What mountain range is the home of Sherpas? Yes, Michael LaSalle. The Himalayas? That is correct answer. Himalayas. Presidents. Who was the American president at the time of VJ Day? Yes, Michael LaSalle. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I'm sorry, I'm not correct. Uh, Sunnyside Christian, would you like to try? Yes, Annalisa. Truman. Truman is the correct answer. Harry Truman. Well done. Other bases. Express as a base five numeral the number of thieves foiled by Alibaba. Yes, Michael LaSalle. 200 over five. I'm sorry, not correct. Uh, nice try, Sunnyside Christian. Do you want to try? Yes, Annalisa. 20. I'm sorry, uh, correct answer, 130. Okay, 130. Lingering disasters. In 1999, the herring harvest in Prince William Sound was called off because of a dearth of fish. Although the evidence is uncertain, many believe the herring decline is related to a disaster that involved what tanker 10 years earlier? Michael LaSalle. Uh, the Exxon tanker? The Exxon, sorry. Well, mobile tanker? I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, it's not going to be a correct answer. Sunnyside, Christian? Uh, Exxon Valdez is what they're looking for, the word Valdez. Uh, terms of office. Members of the United States House of Representatives may be elected to a maximum of how many terms? Yes, Michael LaSalle. Uh, no maximum. Correct. There is no limit, no maximum number. Latin root words. What is the meaning of the root word in maritime? Mermaid, ultramarine, and mariner. Michael LaSalle. Uh, the meaning is water or, or ocean. Um, I think that's not correct, Sunnyside Christian. Yes, Annalisa. Ocean. I'm sorry, actually it's, it's sea, which you're both right, right on the money, but not quite on the money enough. Colonial settlements. Antoine de la Motte Cadillac set up what fort on the Detroit River between Lake Erie and Lake St. Clair? Yes, Annalisa, Sunset Christian. Fort Duquesne. I'm sorry, nice try. It's not the correct answer. Uh, LaSalle, would you like to try? It's Fort Pontchartrain. Grammar. How is at least used in this passage? Plagiarists have at least the merit of preservation. Yes, Annalisa, Sunshine Christian. More than? Sorry, not correct answer, LaSalle. <coughs> correct answer is adverb. It's used as an adverb. Oh, Effects of that. stimulants. One symptom that frequently results from a person taking a stimulant may be the expansion of the pupil of the eye. What adjective indicates an expanded pupil? Janelle, Sunshine Christian. Dilated. That is a correct answer. <coughs> Compounds. Ferrites contain oxygen and what other element? Jacob LaSalle. Iron. That is correct. Iron, indeed. North American rivers. What Mississippi tributary runs past Pueblo, Colorado, Wichita, Kansas, and Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yes, Drew, Sunday said question. The Red River. Uh, that's a nice try. It's not a correct answer, however. Uh, LaSalle, would you like to try? The Arkansas River. Fables. A few words of wisdom are at the end of each of Aesop's fables. Such aphorisms are called what? Yes, Michael. Uh, morals. That's correct. The moral of the story. <coughs> Character characteristics. These characters have what notable characteristic in common? Lady Godiva, Absalom, Rapunzel, and Samson. Drew, Sunday Side Christian. Long hair. Uh, hair is the, what they were looking for. That's right. Correct answer. Songs. American songwriter A.F. Winnemore wrote The Old Granite State in honor of what state?
Drew, Sunset Coast. Vermont. Uh, that's not correct. I'm sorry, LaSalle. <coughs> New Hampshire. You're, you're, you're real close. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Territorial acquisition. Following America's war with Spain in 1898, the United States gained the largest and most southerly of the Mariana Islands. Name it. Guam. Guam's answer. War. After the Spanish-American War, Cuba was allowed to run its own affairs, although the United States retained what major naval base there? Yes, Jacob. Was Guantanamo out. Bay. That's correct. Guantanamo it is. Energy. In what devices may mechanical energy be converted into electrical energy by rotating a coil of wire? Libby LaSalle. Turbines. Uh, turbines is an acceptable answer. In a magnetic field, generators, dynamos, or turbines. Correct answers. Federations. What Southeast Asian nation is a federation of 13 states? Michael Sal. Malaysia? That is correct. Malaysia indeed. Okay, uh, and that brings us to the end of the first round. And before we continue, we'll take a moment to uh, talk to the players a little bit and learn a little bit more about them. All right. Sunnyside Christian, welcome. Thank you for coming today. Uh, Annalisa, you're a soccer and basketball player. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer? Um, I think I prefer soccer. Mm -hmm. And what position do you play in soccer? I've played every position except for goalie, and I, I think midfield is my favorite. I see. Yeah. And uh, basketball? What do you play in basketball? I'm a guard, a mm -hmm. shooting guard. Yep. I see. And how's your shot? Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. What, which favorite, favorite shot? Three-pointer. <laughs> oh, good for you. Good. We'll keep that up. Um, and Janelle, um, you're a three-sport athlete. And what are the three sports? I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. Okay, and, and what's your favorite? It depends on the season. Mm -hmm. So wh whichever happens to be in season? Yep, so now softball. I see, and what do you play in softball? I play pitcher and first base. I see, those couple tough positions. Well, thank you, thank you for coming down. Um, Drew, um, you're a baseball player? Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and, what's, and what's your position? Uh, third base or center field, I center see. field. I see, and you play for your school? Uh, Sunnyside, football? actually, Sunnyside Public, since our team, or our school doesn't have I see. a team, so. I see. And so are you guys playing yet this year? Yeah. We are one and one, so okay. doing okay. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck with that. Thank you. And LaSalle. Okay. Libby, um, you got here a band and choreographing follies. <laughs> so why don't you tell us about that? Oh, choreographing follies? Sure. Okay. Well, follies is this kind of show that the school puts on every year. So I'm actually choreographing two acts that are going to be in it this year, the swing dance and the senior can-can. I see. And that's fun? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of practice? Lots. It's right. kind of stressful, too, but it's sure. fun. All right. Well, good luck. And Jacob, you, you wrote here that you like Shakespeare? Yes. Is that correct? What, uh, what, what plays are your favorites? Probably Julius Caesar, since um, I, act, I was in that. I was Casca in the sixth grade. I see. Um, at my old school, we did a whole lot of Shakespeare. Miss Smith had a, a Shakespeare play every year. I see. Well, that's good. I think uh, there's a little bit less and less teaching of like Shakespeare anymore. And I, I have a couple teenage boys, and I tell them that you should read all the classics because uh, they, they're all there and they, they're uh, pretty timeless. <laughs> and Michael, um, you love AP United States history largely because your brother Dan's favorite. Yes. Uh huh. And why don't you tell us about that? Well, it's a it's a great class, great mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I'm obviously his favorite out of all the students in the class, all right. and it just makes it a great experience. I see, and I take it you sit somewhere near the front. Uh, actually, no, I sit towards the middle, okay. but, you know, still within talking distance. Okay. All right, thanks. Well, thanks for coming. And the coaches for today's teams are Brother Dan Morgan for, um, for LaSalle and uh, Pat Newhouse for Sunnyside Christian. Let's go ahead and get started with the lightning round. Uh, after a careful review by the judges, we have awarded uh, 10 points for a previous answer that was not accepted to Sunnyside Christian. Uh, their score is now 60. Sunnyside Christian, you have the choice of four uh, lightning round categories. I'll go ahead and read them to you. The FBI, fine arts terms, discount prices, and number of electrons. Discount prices, please. Discount prices, it is. <clears throat> okay. You will determine the cost of the following items after the discounts have been applied. A $760 refrigerator that has been discounted 
Seven hundred. I'm sorry. Correct answer is five hundred thirty-two dollars. A ninety-five dollar sweater that has been discounted twenty percent. Seventy-seven. Sorry, it's seventy-six dollars. A four hundred twenty-five dollar television that has been discounted forty percent. Two hundred. Sorry, two hundred and fifty-five dollars. A three hundred and fifty-eight dollar chair that has been discounted twenty percent and then discounted thirty percent more. Uh, sorry, we're all out of time. The answer to that one would have been two hundred dollars and forty-eight cents. Lasalle, would you like me to reread the categories? Um, we'll just take the number of electrons one. Okie doke. Here we go. State the number of electrons present in one atom or ion of the following elements. Oxygen atom. Six. Six. Sorry, eight. Correct answer. Oxide ion. Ten. Ten is correct. L lithium atom. Four. Sorry, three is the correct answer. Lithium ion. Two. Two is correct. Phosphorus atom. Pass. Okay, Fifteen. Phosphide ion. Sixteen. Sorry, eighteen is the correct answer. Fluorine atom. <laughs> Sorry, correct answer would be nine. Sunnyside Christian, you have a choice between the FBI and fine arts terms. Fine arts terms. Please. Okay. Identify the following terms associated with the study of fine arts. The process of making moving cartoons. Animation. Correct. A religious style of art developed in the eastern part of the late Roman Empire. Yes. Byzantine. The art of exquisite handwriting. Calligraphy. Correct. An artificial or deceptive appearance on the front of a building. Facade. Very well, correct. A recurrent or dominant theme in a work of art. Motif. Correct. A tray used to mix colors by an artist. Palette. That is correct. Art movement that was based upon optical principles and optical illusions. Photography. Sorry, op art, optical art. Art movement that stressed the depiction of subjects as they appear in life. Realism? Correct. Very nice. And LaSalle, you have then the FBI. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds right. kind of ominous, I guess. <laughs> Answer the following questions associated with the FBI. The FBI is an investigative arm of this U.S. Cabinet Department. Homeland Security. Defense. Security. Homeland Security? Sorry, Department of Justice. Oh. The three word motto of the FBI. Pass. Fidelity, bravery, integrity. The city in which the FBI has its headquarters. Washington, D.C. That is correct. The director of the FBI, FBI as of June 30th, 2007. Pass. That would be Robert Mueller. FBI director from 1936 until 1972. J. Edgar Hoover. That is correct. Acronym for the law that provides the FBI's biggest tool against organized crime. Pass. Okay, that would be RICO for Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. 2001 law that gave the FBI more power to monitor internet activity to protect against terrorist activity. Patriot Act. That is correct. The original name of the FBI. 
Pass. The Bureau of Investigation. Oh, just the federal. Bureau. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we have uh, gotten to the last round, the toss up bonus round. I will read a toss up question. And if you answer correctly, you get the opportunity for four more bonus questions. Here we go. Category binomial nomenclature. What word in this list of trees means oak? Quercus rubrum, Quercus nigra, Quercus alba. Janelle, so I say Christian. Quercus nigra. I'm um, sorry, that's not the correct answer, LaSalle. Michael. Quercus alba. Sorry, the correct answer was indeed just Quercus. So they're all varieties of the Quercus, they're all oak varieties. State capitals. What is the capital of the state immediately east of the state whose capital is Jackson? Michael LaSalle. Little Rock. Sorry, that is not correct. Sunnyside Christian, do you want to try? Yes, Drew. Montgomery. That is correct. Bonus question category, the Iliad and the Odyssey. Answer the following questions about these two literary classics. Okay, I'll read all four questions. One, the other name for Odysseus. Two, Hector's opponent in single combat. Three, the name of Odysseus's father. Four, the sea monster opposite the Charybdis. Okay, number one. Homer. Sorry, Ulysses, correct answer. Two. Cyclops. Sorry, Ajax. Three. Pass. Okay, Laertes. And four. Pass. Okay, it's Scylla. Answer Scylla. Here we go. South American natives. Name the Quechua speaking people who dominated pre Columbian Peru. Michael LaSalle. The Incans? Incas is the correct answer. Uh, bonus question category is S and E words. I will describe four things, places, people, or ideas. Each correct answer contains six letters, begins with the letter S, and ends with the letter E. Your task is to provide the appropriate responses. One, the capital of Macedonia. Two, a long blanket like brilliantly colored shawl worn by Mexican men. Three, an armed attack made from a plane. Four, a tropical plant found in Asia. It has small flat seeds that are used as food. Okay, answers please, Captain. Um. Pass on the first, pass on the second, strike for free. three. Oh, okay, uh, one is Scopia, two is Serape, three is Sortie. Sortie. And then pass. Four, Sesame. Sesame. Awesome. Okay, uh, category, toss-up question, money. What was the monetary unit of the Soviet Union? Annalisa, uh, send us a question. The ruble. That is correct. <laughs> Bonus question category is world history. Identify the following places, things, people, or events from the descriptions provided. One, founder of the Yuan Dynasty that ruled China from 1279 to 1368. Two, the most famous and controversial leader of the French Revolution, he led the reign of terror. Three, German who controlled the Schutzstaffel or SS troops during World War II. Four, the Puritan whose forces won the Battle of Naseby in 1645. He ruled England from 1653 to 1658. Okay. The first one passed. That's Kublai Khan. Napoleon. Sorry, number two is Robespierre. Number three, Hitler. Sorry, Heinrich Himmler was the correct answer. And four pass. Oliver Cromwell. Okay, pseudonyms. What was Eric Blair's pen name? Jacob LaSalle. Robert Frost. I'm sorry, Sunnyside Christian, would you like to try? Uh, George Orwell. George Orwell's real name is Eric Blair. Blood pressure. What adjective indicates the lowest pressure in the arteries that occurs when the heart is relaxed between beats? Sorry, correct answer, diastolic. 
Deserts. There are five categories of deserts. Which one, typical of deserts at extreme latitudes, is missing from this list? Subtropical, coastal, rain shadow, interior. Jacob LaSalle. Arctic. Uh, Arctic's not correct answer, Sunnyside Christian? Sorry, polar, polar desert. Oh. Onions, onions. The characteristic odor of onions is due to several volatile chemicals, some of which contain sulfur. Onions cause people to shed tears because one of these compounds combines with tears to produce what kind of acid? Michael Sal. Sulfuric acid? That is the correct answer. And that's also the end of the game. Uh, thank you for coming today, Sunnyside Christian, LaSalle. Uh, congratulations to you. You'll be moving on. And thank you very much for joining us today, the 2011 KYBE Apple Bowl. Uh, I'm your host, Pedro Ricari, and we trust you will join us again next time. Thank you. KYBE Apple Bowl is presented by the Washington Apple Education Foundation. And these participating underwriters.